Kirsty TV is about the power of sharing stories that heal ourselves and heal others. My guests share their most intimate stories and lessons learned along the way. Hi guys, it's Kirsty here from Kirsty TV. As you all know, I am a huge believer in living your dreams. The bigger, the better. And I've interviewed some amazing people who have lived out their biggest, boldest dreams, and they have some great insights for all of us. I love Renee Lawless's take on rejection and saying no. And if you, you have to believe enough in yourself that this is, oh, this is not, rejection is not a no, it's a not now. Yeah. I booked, I auditioned for Wicked, um, but I didn't get it till exactly one year later. And they were saying, not now today, but maybe tomorrow. And one year later was my tomorrow. Stedman Graham, Oprah's boof, BF, BFF, you know what I'm trying to say. Oprah's main squeeze. <laughs> he had some amazing insights to share on the red carpet. You're always dealing with challenges. So that, you know, it's not so much what happens to you, but how you respond to it. So it really is about controlling the way that you think. Yeah, and so, so you, you fall can, off the wagon, so you get if back you, on. You, you know, it's just like, you know, it's not, you're not a failure when you fall down, you're a failure when you don't get up. Yeah. So you keep working at it and keep working. It's called practice. As a former athlete, you became a better athlete because you practice. Les Brown, Mr. Motivation, the motivational speaker, also had some amazing insights into living your biggest, boldest dreams. You have to engage in self-development because you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Warren Buffett said the most important investment you can make in the world is an investment in yourself. Here's a guy that has billions of dollars in real estate and the stock market, but he said you've got to invest in you. The next thing is you have to continuously expand your skill set so you can stay ahead of technology and cheap labor abroad. We're going through a period of creative, creative destruction, and so things are being created that's destroying jobs and you have to create your own job. And the third thing is your relationships. You know, MIT did a study. Study indicated that you're in within two to three thousand dollars of your closest friends. So you want to form a community of collaborative, achievement-driven relationships. An international fashion designer, Sue Wong, had some amazing insights to share. She really was a true rags to riches story. So what do you say to young designers or any artist or business person, entrepreneur out there that's at the beginning of their journey? What one piece of advice do you think they need to know? I think, you know, you have to have commitment. You have to really, you know, be able to sacrifice yourself to your art if you are an artist. So is there anything you would do differently? Knowing what you know now, is there anything you'd change? No, not at all. I have no regrets at all, like that Edith Piaf song says, because even the darkness, I experience it as a positive experience because it's really something that, you know, is transformative along our life journeys. You just have to believe in yourself and do the work and take pride in your work, and you have to accept all the failures as well as all the rewards, and that makes us who you are, and I guess that's what preps us for success. But the original question of can anyone have success, I think anyone can, but gosh, it's hard. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't come easy. Mm -hmm. It's hard emotionally, it's hard mentally, it's hard physically, the hours, the time that you put into developing new skills, new networks. If it was um, easy, everybody would be yeah. successful. Yeah. That's you have right. to have a fighting spirit, for exactly. sure. Yeah. You, for yeah. sure, determination and a fighting mm -hmm. spirit. Well, as always, so much to say. I hope that you have that fighting spirit and you go after your entrepreneurial dreams because I think we all agree that anyone can do it if you put in the time to climb your mountain and have that resilience to back yourself and follow your dream. I look forward to hearing your posts and comments online so that we can continue the conversation and we'll see you next time. So continue watching by clicking the play button on any of the screens below for the full interview and living your dreams with actress Renee Lawless. Be motivated by Les Brown, inspired by Sue Wong and in powered by Stedman Graham. I'll see you soon and remember sharing our stories heals ourselves and heals others. I love Stedman Graham, yes. Oprah's BF. F? No, the BFF is the best friend, right? Not the BF. Should the beef be the beef? The beef is the beef. You know what, you know what I'm trying to say. Oprah's boof. The guy who supplies Oprah's beef. The guy who surprise, supplies Oprah's beef, the beef. Yeah, yeah. The beef guy. Anyway, Stedman Graham, um, Oprah's boof, is, um, ha actually has something really good to say, unlike me. So let's listen to him. Um, you want to try Stedman again? <laughs> Get your shit together.